Hi welcome back to my channel my name is Monica and today I am here with the most awaited feature of Confluence which is Confluence whiteboard I have been waiting for this feature so long and today I am very excited to explain this it to you now without any further ado let's get start with the video this is my Confluence space and first of all we will see how we can enable this feature to enable this feature we have to go to this setting icon and then in the left side bar under the configuration we have the beta features option when you will click in the beta features and here you will get a option to enable the whiteboard's beta features whiteboard is in beta and they give us an opportunity to explore this beta feature so that we can understand how it works you can read a little bit about the whiteboards like whiteboard introduce a new way of brainstorm collaborate and work in confluence just like pages whiteboards can be created and organized within the space and these are the things to know when you use the whiteboards once you enable it it may take a few minutes for whiteboards to roll out across all spaces so you have to wait just for few minutes and there will be a short onboarding flow to introduce whiteboards for all users once enabled whiteboards cannot be disabled for your site during the beta period however space settings manage who can create and edit whiteboards within their space and we have some informations about the data residency backup and store and certain third party apps may be impacted when dashboards are added in a space our team is working to resolve known issues and if you know about some you know for updates on affected apps then please see this page so these kind of things that you should know before use the whiteboard you can read about it once you will enable this beta feature after enabling this beta feature of whiteboard we will come to the space i will use this space for this video after enabling the feature you have a options to create the whiteboard from here you can create it from here or you can create it from here as well there are the two options where you can create the whiteboards one from the top navigation and another one is from the sidebar from the page tree option now we will create a sample board and we will see how, what kind of a feature we have this is interesting we will click on the whiteboard and here is my whiteboard uh, whiteboard have a multiple templates like brainstorming planning and strategy diagramming team building and the practicing agile but in this video we will use a simple retrospective i will click to use template it is telling us little bit about the retrospective and what kind of action we need to perform in the retrospective so it is very good because it is giving us a some kind of a direction and here we can change the name of our whiteboard let's suppose the name is my first sample whiteboard i'll hit the enter and here is the name of my sample whiteboard i can delete it i if i want i can click write and then delete but i really want to use this template so i'll go here again and here we have the another option template i'll go again with the simple retrospective and here i am in this whiteboard i don't want this so i will delete i will click it and then right click delete or i can simply press a delete button from my keyboard and it will delete from my whiteboard interesting let me delete it the last one yes and here i have a column good bad ideas and action and this is the interesting thing that we need to explore these are the cards i can click and i can use the sticky notes like this i can make them little bit large and in this sticky note i can write anything let's suppose uh this was about the good thing yes this is great i am using confluence great and i can create more i'll go and drag i can make it little bit large here yes and i can use who this is nice yeah i can convert this sticky notes to a jira issue this is awesome here we have a option when i will click it will ask me about the site 
and it will ask me about the project let's suppose i will go with the test poc and here i can choose the issue type it will be a story i can write down the summary like this is a great i'm using confluence this is the summary from this sticky notes i can change it if i want let's suppose confluence yes whatever you want to write and then you can select the assignee uh, i am not assigning this particular story to anyone in this video at least and i'm gonna hit the create and it will create our ticket we have the three options we can display the card we can display url and we can display embedded as well but here i will use the display card if i want to see the preview i can click and it will show me the preview in this window we have the issue type and the name of the issue and all the details that we need actually and then i can close it if i want to open this issue in the another tab then i can click and it will open an issue in the another tab now i will come back to the whiteboard and i'm gonna create the another issue i'll click on create issue and i will do the same as i did for the previous sticky notes but this time i want to create the task here and i will click on create it will create a task in my selected project we can make a link between two issues let me know how you will do it in the whiteboard can i zoom it yes let me zoom it little bit so that you can understand it better just a minute yeah and sorry i have clicked on the issue i will do like this and like this it will create a link it is asking me to create the link and here i can select the type of the link let's suppose it is blocked by this link and i will create a link between two issues this is the great functionality i can create my jira issues from a sticky notes and make the links between them this is great now we have the another option in the toolbar and this is text let's suppose i'll drag it here and i will write down a text let me make it little bit bigger so that you can have a look better yes oh this is my sample typing i can type the another thing let's suppose this is my first text in the whiteboard yes and i can do it something like this yes yeah cool and we have the third thing in the toolbar is shapes i can and if i want to add the another let's suppose it should be a triangle and then i can put the triangle here this is interesting and i can change the color of the triangle let's suppose it could be a green and it should be pink or, or i guess a light red or i can choose the another shapes as well i can change the shapes from here and i can change the color to like this this is the great feature and this is the next which is line you can play with the line as well if you let's suppose i want to make a some kind of a line between these two shapes then i can do like this i can use the another line let's simple like this you can change the color of the line let's suppose it should be red and you can change the dots here there are a lot of options and i would request you if you really want to understand how the whiteboard works then please use this beta feature yourself and play with the other options how you can make them bold italic underline and these some kind of uh, bullet and we have the lot of options available here but in this video i am telling you about the main options that we have in this toolbar and now we have the sections part here you can make the sections let me tell you how let's suppose if you want to create the section here then you can and you can add a shadow you can change a color of this section and i want to add one more section here and the color should be 
purple it looks good and we have the other important feature which is import from jira and this is a cool feature here let's suppose if i want to import the jira issues from my test poc i can do it i can select all the issues or if i want to write a jql i can write a jql and find the issues that i want to import here and i will hit the import for issues and here i am i can make it under the ideas yes and here you can see we have the uh, four issues that we imported from the test POC project. This is cool. And we have some another cool things like stamps. If you want to, let's suppose uh, I will create a one sticky note here, this one. And I will write this is cool stamps. Let me make it big so that you can see what I am typing. Yes. And then I will come here and I want to say, wow. Then I can give a stamp to this sticky note and then keep it back and if someone will say and say this is 100% true he will come and say this shape is 100% true this is a cool thing you can use the stamp and make your tickets and your whiteboard beautiful I love it seriously and now we have the stickers we can use the stickers let's suppose if I want to use this sticker sorry I can go it again I can use this one and maybe I can use this one yeah this is cool sorry it is behind this let me make it big one yeah we have and like this we can use the multiple stickers here we have a lot of stickers that you can use this is all about the confluence whiteboard and this feature is still in beta Atlassian team is working on this and Hopefully in future we will get interesting feature in the Confluence whiteboard. Now I will go at Atlassian official website and we'll have a look to some FAQ. If you are watching my video about the Confluence whiteboard till here then definitely you will also have this type of question in your mind. So the first question is how much does Confluence whiteboard cost? All Confluence Whiteboard's capabilities will be free for open beta customers who opted it until the project generally available is announced. Moving forward, there will be a mix of capabilities based on your Confluence addition. And the second question is, is Confluence Whiteboard coming to data center? No, the Confluence Whiteboard is only for the cloud. And there are currently no plans to bring Confluence whiteboards to the data center. And the next question is how does Confluence whiteboards differ from the other digital whiteboard tools? Confluence dash whiteboards has fundamental whiteboard features like shapes, votings that I have told you about it. Oh sorry, I forgot to tell you about the voting and timer settings. Let me go back to the again on my whiteboard and we have these settings here. If I'll click then we have the timer setting here. Or you can go to this timer option from here as well we have the timer options here so the confluence whiteboard have these type of features and the next one is do the confluence compliance certificate cover the whiteboard features upon enabling these features product admins will be prepared with beta terms and conditions that outline the current state of whiteboards currently we are opening uh, like we are using the beta it means oh, not all confluence compliance certificates extend to the whiteboards you can read what features won't be available for whiteboards during beta you can read and if i opt to the open beta will i be able to opt at a later date as well at this time customers that opt into the beta will not be able to opt out during the open beta period so these are the good questions that they have mentioned in their website and definitely these type of questions are coming to your mind you can come here i will mention this link in the description box so that you can go and read these FAQs on Atlassian official website. Thanks for watching this video and let me know what you think about this new feature Confluence Whiteboard. And I would like to request you please share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also understand these latest features of the Confluence.